accessing the Linux shell on the Keycroc in Windows, Mac, and Linux over SSH, this time on Hack5. Hello and welcome to Hack5, my name is Darren Kitchen and on this Dose of Technolist we are building on our Keycroc series, so follow along from the beginning if you haven't already and for today what we're going to do is set up SSH access and this is really important because later on when we start doing interactive payload development this is one of the best ways to be able to connect to your Keycroc as it is connected to a target in attack mode and start throwing commands at it live and interacting with that target and building out those payloads. Uh, so we've talked about getting to the shell before in terms of serial access on Windows, Mac, and Linux using PuTTY or Screen or Minicom or whatever other, you know, uh, hyper terminal, if you will. Uh, however, today we're going to go ahead and connect to a very similar shell, except instead of over serial, it's going to be over SSH or secure shell. And this is going to uh, be part of the DNA of our payload development efforts, so this is definitely one to reference and setup couldn't be easier. Let's go ahead and take a look. I have my Keycroc uh, connected to my computer here, obviously in arming mode. I've got my little Keycroc drive. I'm looking at the root of it. And all we have to do to enable SSH is add this line right here. As we are building on our previous uh, videos, you'll see you literally just give it your Wi-Fi SSID and password, and then do SSH enable. So that's going to enable the SSH daemon on the device, but there's one other thing, since we've got this in arming mode, we're going to want to do. And that is, if we take a look at our payloads, we're only, we only have our example payload, uh, you know, on the box right now. That's the one where we type in hello and it types world. What we're gonna do is come into the library, and there's a few example payloads. One in particular is gonna be really helpful in just a moment. We're gonna grab this example croc control IP info and just drag it over to the payloads directory before we safely eject, of course, every time safely ejecting. And uh, you know, as you know, all you have to do to get it from arming mode into attack mode is unplug it, plug it in. So we're gonna do just that. I have this USB lead is going to uh, my Mac where we just set this up. So we're just going to see we're in, we've got the blue blinking LED. So we are in arming mode and unplug that. And then I have this USB hub here connected to our Windows 10 target. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug that in. And then we have our uh, little keyboard set up here, little wireless USB keyboard, but this would work the same with wired. And we can see we've got our uh, Windows box set up right here, uh, ready to go, waiting for those keystrokes. So while this is booting, let's go ahead and fire up Notepad so we have something to type into, because in just a moment I'm gonna show you what we did with uh, moving that payload from the library over to the uh, the payloads directory. So that activates the payload, and we take a look here, It is uh, the LED is off because we are in attack mode with our keyboard connected so if I just go ahead and type in the trigger for that particular payload or, or the match, if you will, it is, as I'll show you, underscore, underscore, C-R-O-C-C-T-L for croc control, dash IP info. And you'll see it executes the payload, which quite simply just spits out uh, the IP address of the croc on this network, which is really convenient because I have a test network set up here in my lab, and now I can connect to it, and I can have remote access to it, now I know where it is on my network. So that just makes things a little easier uh, in development. Now obviously, if you have just like a simple router set up, you can go into, say, your DHCP table, and you'll probably just see it there, croc, and it's the same IP address. So with that, I can now from my terminal, uh, and this is going to be the same whether it's on a Linux box or on a uh, Mac, and very similarly <laughs> in 2020, oh, finally, on a, a Windows machine. So the same command, SSH, the user is root, at, and then that IP address. So what was it, 192.168.0.137. Yours is going to obviously be different. We get the key fingerprint, and we say, yep, that looks good to me, and of course, our password. And now we are connected to our key croc. So 
Let's go ahead and take this uh, just a step further and get a little bit meta because remind, because uh, mind you, I have this connected to our Windows target. So if we switch over to that machine, we'll see we're in Notepad and we have PowerShell right behind there. So let's have a little fun with this since we're SSH'd into our key crock here. Let's issue quack alt tab. And mind you, you know, on the right, we have our Windows box that it's connected to and now we're interacting live and we've all tabbed over to our PowerShell. So let's do and just demonstrate that it's very similar now in PowerShell to do SSH. You just do quack string and in quotes, I'm going to put SSH root at 192.168.0.137 and then quack enter quack string. Yes. Quack enter. You kind of see where this is going and now you can kind of see the beauty of interacting with the target live over SSH and the fact that whether you're on a Windows machine in PowerShell or if you're on a Linux box or a Mac, it's going to be the same SSH command, which is wonderful because for the first time and it feels like forever, there's some sort of unity on the internet, except not unity with X11 or Wayland or, you know, there's too many window managers. All right. With that, let me know what your thoughts are below. I would love to start featuring some epic payloads from you guys as well. So if you have ideas for those, that would be great. We're going to continue this series with Cloud C2 setup as well as UDisk and loop management and setting up attack modes and all the payload commands. And if you haven't already, go ahead and check out the live shows that we're doing on Thursday nights. We just had our first and it was great. So I hope to see you at the next. Uh, stay tuned for all the details over at hack5.org. With all that, I'm Darren Kitchen. Trust your tech in the lust. Thanks for supporting Hack5. Find all our shows, community, and pen test products at hack5.org.